all packed up. Oh. <laughs> Next time we're going to see this guy, he's going to be in Minnesota. Yeah, we'll be in Minnesota. Why put it on top when you can save gas and take out your passenger seat and ride with it up front? All right, look who I found up here. What's up, dude? Oh, huh. not much. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, seeing you here. Yeah, we got two different canoes, completely different. Gerard's got a solo. I got a tandem turn into a solo. What up, people? All right, we just taken off day two. There's the campsite, and there's Gerard. What up, dude? Cheers, bitch. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Drink it's that. appetizing. Your bags here? These <laughs> <laughs> vanilla flakes. You taste a little mosquito repellent though? Something's or something. in there. <laughs> Telling Gerard how we need Sydney here because she's the only one that can get like hammocks perfect in like seconds exactly how you want them. She's my fiance by the way. And she's really, really pretty. Now in recovery mode, hopefully we will get him recovered by tomorrow morning. All right, it's 5.30 in the morning. Good morning, glad he survived the night. Good morning, me too. Hey man. A rough one. <laughs> Been nice meeting you, Gerard. <laughs> oh, I don't say that, I'm not done <laughs> Casey Crippen. Oh, oh. Okay, so I'm making my way back to go grab the canoe and food pack, and uh, yeah, something just uh, crossed here in the meantime. Not gonna be able to see uh, footprints because that's like four feet deep of moss. But uh, wouldn't be a bear. They don't really like going through the trail a little bit. I found some. Pretty sure those are oysters. And eat those later. Nice. Yep. Oh, yeah, those are oysters. Beautiful night tonight, and uh, I got pancakes for dinner because why not? Got my map, which I've been trying to study. I know where I am, right here, and uh, I know where the lake is. And this is the fishing spot. Now I haven't seen any bears, but I know that's a bear. The moose—that's what I encountered the other day. It was off back behind me into the trail and uh, the swamplands the mountain the mountain must be I'm pretty sure it was like a hill over it that way so so yeah tomorrow I just gotta make it to the lake Holt Lake should be an interesting day PMA for the
the first of the trip. Get the idea though, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, pretty early. Made it to Alice Lake and uh, got an amazing beach spot. This is what I've been looking forward to. I wanted a few days of my vacation to be on a nice beach with a hot day with no wind. I found part of a hip bone, I'm guessing, of an elk, or I'm sorry, a moose. So lots of uh, hammock trees, and that is why they named them Widowmakers. They're only like a few inches in the ground, all the roots are here, so everything's rock. More than likely they get stuck by other trees by the times they land right on your hammock, or maybe even your big toe. By the way, this is my fiance. Her name's Sydney. She's the best. Okay, last night was amazing at this campsite so much. I've decided to spend an extra day here. Because today's supposed to be in the 80s and sunny, even though it doesn't look like it. Smaller, huge. That's how the picture's taken. <laughs> yep, that's smaller. No, is it? Is it walleye? Just made breakfast. Third pancake. I'm getting like perfect at. Six pounds. Enough for dinner for sure. It worked out. Okay, so the bottom of my canoe is this parasite. It's like a string. Look at this thing. Oh, there's fish on mine. It's a living parasite. Look at it move. <laughs> Not going up my butthole today, sir. No, sir. -y. on these rocks. Twist the ankle right now. That will be no bueno. No bueno.
going to be definitely more than a few days late to work. The weather radio says that we have 40 mile per hour gusts. And this is Holt Lake. All right, let's be moving on. Okay. Holt Lake right here. That's where I'm going to get my PMA at. So I'm going to try to bushwhack into my PMA permit up through here and base camp up here, but then come back here to fish. And I'm going to be the first person in a very long time to make it up to actually uh, uh, Pitfall Lake. Pitfall Lake and Cup Lake. I might go to Cup Lake too. And I'm going to bushwhack, go through here. This is my PMA part. Okay, so I got two options. Either A, make a straight line to where I need to go, or B, I found a moose trail that goes the other side of the lake and follow that. And that's what I'm gonna do. And if I can get my canoe up on my quarters without getting a hole in it, and then I don't have nowhere. No drop it. Okay. This is what you don't want to happen out of the middle of nowhere. Oh man, lost my phone. That's uh, the least of the worries. Least of the worries.
the first one we got. Take my shoes off. Here we go. Alright. At the end of my trip. Fuck. Um, so last night was pretty crazy, obviously. I just got done with breakfast. Everything's finished drying down right now. I had every single bit of my clothes with me. Anyways, lots of uh, lessons learned yesterday. Story of what happened was uh, I was trolling with the canoe and I got hung up on something in about 50 feet of water, uh, pretty far out from the shore. The, I didn't notice it until the last second. The pole almost went in the water and all my instincts took out or went away of leaving the pole go and uh all i thought in my mind was the money for that split second of three hundred dollars so i reached on over past my reaching point uh, oh hello snake but as i reached for that it uh obviously tipped the canoe but anyways i have a choice to either press on go to the next lake and make my way back or go back to that lake, which I, if I don't do that, I fear that I'm going to have a fear of that lake because I'll be thinking about it for the next year until I can come back. And I don't want that to happen. And I absolutely love the fishing on it. It was incredible. So I have everything packed up and I'm going to go back. trying to hurry up and get to this island before more rain hits but I can't stop and to fish a little bit here and there right so pitfall lake I believe is right down here remember this mic on your map terrain for next year when you bushwhack all the way the, the map the hill terrain this is gigantic I'll show you the way that I took really quick. It's like perfect. I love it. Not too much. Warm. So beautiful. And blue skies. <laughs> That's the best part. But not too long. Yeah. And look, a rainbow now. Special place. Oh man, look at this. Now, there's all the bear and the moose.
moose tracks and bear prints. Lots of Lots of mosquitoes too. Still so coming back from one of my ports. I really wish I would have had my camera with me because I ran into a bear. He was right here on this trail taking a shit, looking at me. Just all while the poop was coming out of his butt. I was probably, what, from right there to right around the corner? It's got to be 10, 15 yards at the moment. Just taken off, backed up camp all the way, double checked everything, put out the fire, already made breakfast. But when I did wake up in the morning, look what I did find. That was not here yesterday. So during that heavy rainstorm and the tarp blowing, he came through here probably making sound, but I wasn't able to hear it. Cheers, Casey. Mike. Ah. Look at these guys. They are having a great time. Got three of them. Ran into this guy. His name's Bill. Hey. Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice Mike. to meet you. Finally, been talking with him for a long time on the forums and stuff. And it blew me away. Yeah. Met, man. Yeah. Right in the middle of the wilderness. I just, I, right in the I'm middle. I'm so happy you hung out. I hurried back just just to shoot the breeze a minute. Yeah. And yeah, now it brings yep. a full circle. Man. Yep. Not only that, but this guy had a little pop in his in his canoe, and yeah. I helped him out with some man. duct tape, and that makes it even odder of a chance of running in India for that. So. Yeah, these three guys are in two canoes and a solo, and they came from Little Sag, where I came from. How you guys doing? Uh, good. Uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. Out to the fireplace. I made camp here. I guess it's a lake trout or a northern staying down like that.
sorry, there's no more there. Get out of the way. How bad is it? Jeez. GoPro. GoPro, stop recording. 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 The rat, the rat, and it
fuck now? Jeez. Trying to be nice. Guess I'll grab, grab the gills. Not gonna get me, not gonna get me, no. Okay, cool. Stop making it. There's still snow in my boat. No, no. Damn it, I'm gonna have to wash my boat. Get there. Where are you? Ah. There we go. Jeez, I thought I was hung up for a second. I think I start reeling these fish in quick because. I don't have another four or five more days worth of memory. In this cart. Uh, I just want to see what yard we we'll get off. Right, come on. Oh, okay, big one now. Right, I don't have time to record all the fighting, so once I get them up, I'll take a picture. Oh, jumping out of the water. They're small now. Man, this side of the lake has a lot of smallmouth. like a ton of bricks. Hope it's not a bass. Caught enough of them. <clears throat> nope, it's a big bass. Okay. I can't even go like 10 feet without getting a fish on the way out. I just want to leave, but I also want to fish. Uh, struggle. Catch him in the side or something? It's acting weird. I think so. 